Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 25th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days, as we've seen multiple M-class solar flares and multiple C-class solar flares, but no major solar events thwarted our way. No major CMEs. Just some amazing images here of nine Earth-facing sunspot regions right now. Large plasma prominence. Cresting limb here looking at the last 48 hours. Swirling around the surface. Amazing images. Looking at outgoing here. Same thing. Plasma prominence. Plasma filaments. And as well, outgoing minor M-class solar flares. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, plasma filaments to keep an eye on. Sunspot regions that are firing away. And as well, coronal holes, which there is one now developing equatorial region. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party. When these are Earth-facing... They do increase our solar winds almost double to what they normally are. Another view here at our sun where you can really see the flashes from the M-class solar flares. As I said, we've seen multiple the past two days from the active nine sunspot regions. Look at these sunspot regions in motion. Sped up time-lapse Im imagery here from Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Please don't forget to press that like button. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 331 kilometers per second right now, but notable solar influx is 233. Solar X-ray flux here showing multiple moderate and strong M-class solar flares the past two days and as well heightened C-class range. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well. Expecting some minor geoinstability from the most recent flare events. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their latest Space Prediction Spiral. A little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth. And on this one, yellow circle is Earth. And as well, pointing out the planets in our solar system, or at least the ones that are close by. Mercury retrograde, we just finished up. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Haven't seen a sun-diving comet for a while or anything else here on these Alaska images. Normally we see sun-diving comets or comets going by. And again, it's been pretty quiet. No major CMEs headed towards Earth. Now let's have a look at earthquakes as we had a very deep earthquake today. 627 kilometer depth. It was actually yesterday and as well, another deep one today, 554 kilometer depth, Tonga region. Notable earthquake, Kermadec Islands as well, very deep for the region. Going to be expecting something bigger here really soon, especially with all those deep earthquakes there. And let's just get the past two days in here as we did report a pretty rare earthquake a couple days ago here. Well, yesterday. Denman, Australia, 4.4 magnitude earthquake north of Sydney. Pretty rare place for an earthquake. Have not reported that ever on my channel. That is in the past seven years. Who knows if there's been one reported there in the past, but I've not reported one here. Continual aftershocks off the coast of Kamchatka, as well continual seismicity at the Hawaiian Island. Notable earthquake here, Alberta, 4.2 Fox Creek, Alberta. That's a pretty rare earthquake as well. Canada seeing some shakers as of late. And as well, notable activity here, 4.3 Walker Lake two days ago. 
Swarming continues and it seems to be residual. And let's just have a look at USGS as they're reporting 215 earthquakes the last 24 hours. I wanted to zoom in on exactly where these earthquakes are occurring at Walker Lake. It's just east of the lake, but notable southeast of the lake is one of the largest ammunition depots in the United States. Right here. All these little bunkers. Yeah, so notable earthquakes there east of Walker Lake. No major swarms to talk about, but notable activity up into the Pacific Northwest, Mount Rainier, and as well, Mount St. Helens. It was snowing at Mount Rainier a couple nights ago. Imagine that. Carrying on here in earthquakes, South American plate, very quiet the last two days. Same with Central America. African plate and up into Europe. Only reporting a 4.3 there in Cairns, Greece. Notable activity up into the Northwest Tibetan Plateau, 4.6 there, and as well a 4.7 here, Port Blair, India. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Let's get the plates in there. There we go. As the Pacific Ring of Fire is very active right now, large eruption at the Iceland volcano, so North Atlantic Ridge, seeing volcanic activity, volcanic activity all across the Pacific right now. 65 active, 66 active and or erupting volcanoes around the world. And it really shows considering all of the earthquakes that we've seen as of late. Please, heads up all across Northern Pacific right now. Having a look here at the air quality forecast, this is the large eruption from the Iceland volcano, Fregvatisvali, erupting yet again in the sixth time in eight months. And look at this SO2 plume. Acid rain, guys. That's what this means. Sulfur dioxide emissions mixing with our moisture up there. Nasty air quality all across northern Europe and into Russia. And this will be enveloping the northern hemisphere as it swirls around over the next few days. Having a look here, overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia. Regular plumes coming out of Italy, Africa, and Indonesia. And then overlooking Eastern Russia, Japan, down into Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, and as well Mexico. Even the Aleutian Islands. Lots of pressure being released across our planet right now. Getting ready for winter. That's right, we're not even in fall yet, but we've had some pretty chilly nights and it's starting early, folks. Extreme weather ripping across Manitoba and into northern Ontario the next couple days. And then by Tuesday into Wednesday, watch that go into the central United States and then into Ontario very warm and sticky the next couple of days and these cold lows coming from Alaska and as well Hudson Bay. We are going to be seeing some pretty intense weather here over the next few days. Strong low. Look at the size of this thing over Hudson Bay. That is a massive low pressure system. Long range forecast shows it crashing into Greenland and then swirling around the shorelines there. Overlooking Europe, Africa, Southeast Asia. Rainy days ahead for most of Europe. Most of Northern Europe. As multiple low pressure systems are spinning around the North Atlantic. Strong systems building through Central Africa and as well across Myanmar and up into India. Long range forecast. Strong system moving into there. Then overlooking the West Pacific. Intense low pressure system there heading through the Tonga region. Typhoon heading towards Japan. And possible cyclone there developing for India. We'll have to see with the daily forecast. But looking at this typhoon that's heading towards Japan, looks like it's going to be making landfall Wednesday into Thursday. 
but then it kind of gets stopped, blocked by a high pressure ridge for a few days, and then looks like it's going to be spinning around Japan till the end of the month. And then we've got the Central Pacific here where we've got three tropical storms. One is already affecting Hawaii. High surf, strong winds, and heavy rains. And then we've got Gilma, which is the next storm on its way. And it looks like it's going to dissipate just before the Hawaiian Islands. Stay tuned for the daily forecast. I do my best here to keep you updated, aware, and prepared. And much love, everybody. I thank you all for watching tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.